and so now we'll be playing on a new map, Iwo Jima, and this time we're playing as the Americans. Nice. Uh, so sorry, I, I know I've been kind of rambling on about uh, the history of World War II, the back, you know, a little bit of uh, background knowledge for this game. And, uh, you know, just talking about why I'm doing this and kind of like what, what's next for me with my channel. And I, yeah, I know. And, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys just want to know, like, what's up with this new update for, like, those who, who play Battlefield. And so I'll kind of get into that now. So with the new update, as I mentioned before, t it introduces the Pacific Theater to World War II, which, gotta say, I've been wanting to play since it came out, and I was actually pretty bummed when I got the game and I saw that there was no Pacific Theater, because to be fair, I think that, if I gotta be honest, of, I think the Pacific Theater is probably like my favorite theater of World War II, it's just, I think it's just the best, um, uh, and I feel like I feel like it's often you know that's the thing about war, with the Pacific Theater in World War Two. I I don't know. I think now people are kind of uh, people are starting to do a better job. But I feel like before I feel like the Pacific Theater was often overlooked, except for uh, the bombing of Pearl Harbor and uh, yeah, the bombing of Pearl Harbor and the uh, nukes being dropped on. Uh, Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki because I swear before before when I always heard about people talking about World War two all people ever talked about was, was pretty much just the Nazis and how we went to war with the Nazis because of the Holocaust and Hitler was evil and us being the, the quote-unquote heroes the world having to you know save save the world from the evil of the German army you know I feel like that's all people really know about when it comes to World War II and uh, like I said I think now people are doing a better job they only say that because when you look at a lot of World War II movies a lot of them do focus on the Americans, you, the European theater, and even though uh, the U.S. Uh, did declare war on uh, Japan, they also did go to. They also did send troops to uh, to Europe to fight against the German. That's where you get, you know, D-Day and storming the beaches of uh, Normandy. That's all in the European theater, and yeah, yeah, and of course, uh, yeah, 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 and everyone knows that, you know, especially D-Day, Battle of the Bulge. Oh, I feel like those war, like those battles have been done to death by a lot of media, you know, books, movies, shows, games, and then going back to World War, uh, World at War. One of the reasons why I really liked that game. And I was, I mean, I was really young when that game came out, but that game introduced me to the Pacific Theater, and, and I really liked that. Uh, but, uh, I guess, I, I'll get more into that later. I'll kind of talk about what's, what the update has added, so, oh my god. So, first and foremost, they've added two new uh, factions to... Uh, to the game for the, the uh, for the allies they've added the Americans obviously and for the Axis powers they added uh, the Japanese army so now now we can play as both factions and they're completely customizable as well with their own soldiers their own vehicles uh, they've also introduced a couple new weapons uh, for the yeah, they introduced a uh, couple new weapons used by both factions. So 
they added a new they, yeah they basically added a new weapon for each class and they added well, I mean so far from what I've seen two American weapons and two Japanese weapons so for the Americans we got the the legendary and iconic M1 Grand, Grand which is the gun I'm using right now and this is an assault rifle so th this is used this is for the assault class the assault class then for the previous video uh, that you saw me play, playing and I was playing as a Japanese uh, it was uh, for the medic class they have the type 100 which is a submachine gun which is used by the medic class obviously uh, and then the Americans also have the M1919 Browning for the for the support class, which is a mounted machine gun. And last but not least, the Japanese have the Type 99 Arasaka shot or shotgun sniper rifle used by the recon class. And so those are the only weapons they've added so far. Uh, more are going to be added, of course, to the Tides of War and then the ch Tides of War chapter chapter rewards. Oh, uh, this still have to change that. <laughs> yes, this doesn't work against tanks. It only works against aircraft. Which, here, I should try shooting down a couple. Uh. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I feel like I should really get a launcher. I don't know. Ah, uh, and I missed. It's kind of hard to. Do. Well, I don't know. I feel like those planes are pretty fast, or I just I'm really sucking with that right now. I can normally hit planes with that, to be fair, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's no sidearms that they've at least added. I know that you can unlock like two sidearms through the chapter rewards, but at least if you just boot up the game and try to customize your classes, there's, there's no sidearms that I know of that they've added for both factions. Uh. Oh, uh, what else? What else do we have? What else do we have? Uh. That's about it, really. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I gotta forget. They also added two new maps, which, yeah, I know, only two maps with, uh, with the two maps in the Pacific Theater. I'll get bored and boring pretty quickly. I know, but you know, like I said, games is a service model. Take it however you want, but that's just how it's gonna be. Sure, in the beginning. We won't have much, and then you'll probably be like, you know what? I'd rather just go back to playing. Uh, I'd rather just go back to playing the the base maps or the maps that are already here, even though it's already it's Germans and the British. But at least I'll have more to choose from. Yeah, I know. But you know, as the weeks go by, they'll add more. They'll, I know they'll add more. That's just how it is. As the narrative progresses, we'll see more going on. But so far, yeah, they got two maps, Iwo Jima and Pacific Storm, which I think they said that Iwo Jima, I don't know they said if it was a new map or if it was supposed to be a reimagining of the classic battlefield map. Although, uh, I do know for sure Pacific Storm is a remake or a reimagining of a previous map. Uh, which is, uh, I believe it's supposed to be a reimagining of Parcel Storm from, uh, from Battlefield 4, or at least that's when I first played it. I didn't play Battlefield 3, so I don't know if it came out in Battlefield 3. But yeah, the the map I, pre I was playing pre uh, I was playing previously. That's uh, that was Pacific Storm for any of you Battlefield fans out there. You, you may have seen it. it even had this, the islands look exactly the same. Uh, it even had the storm dynamic. 
Yeah, I even had the storm dynamic. Obviously, the only difference is that uh, since this is taking place in World War II, they made the backdrop look more of that time, you know, the 1940s. Sorry, I was just drinking my coffee. It was really good. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. And then I don't even know if Pacific, if like Pacific Storm and uh, Battlefield 4 even takes place in Japan. But if it doesn't, well, then they also made it to take place in Japan. <laughs> So yeah, you got those two games, and then right now they're actually only available in Breakthrough, in the Breakthrough gameplay. So you know, you like playing Conquest, Grand Operations. Well, sorry, but if you want to play the new maps, you have to play in, uh, in, in Breakthrough. So there's that. Um, I haven't had a chance. I haven't had a chance to play any of the new vehicles, but you know, they're just basically gonna be the same. I'm pretty sure they're the same as you the other vehicles what? used by the uh, by the Germans and Brits, but just obviously they're they're basically the, these factions equivalents of those tanks or vehicles. I mean, ah. Oh. Other than that, uh, and of course they also added new uh, stuff to customize your characters, and it's not, you can even use the new items to customize uh, your your soldier for for the Germans and the Brits. Same thing with camos, you can also customize, you can also use, you can also use the new camos. That are introducing this uh, update for those guns. Oh, I just love the sound of that M1. So good. Especially the ping, the iconic ping. Um, but other than that, I really think that's about it with this update. So, just keep in mind, this update is fairly new and don't expect to if you're gonna be playing it the first week uh, don't expect too much it's good I like to see it as the way I see it is like it's basically like a sneak peek of what's to come in the following weeks and so if you like what you see well then these next week these next few weeks are gonna be a fun time and if not well well then just I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, oh my god. But anyways. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much all that the update has to offer so far. Oh, and of course, update your user interface. Yada yada. But I'm very happy. Like I said, I really love the Pacific Theater and I think it's because also I just really, I just really love the Americans. I uh, no, it's not because I'm very patriotic or anything like that. It's just that when it comes to World War II, of all the factions, oh, and I just got knifed. Of all the factions, I'd say I really love the U.S. Like their their weaponry, their infantry, their vehicles. I just love everything. Like basically the equipment that the Americans use. It, it's great, you know. They used great. They use some pretty amazing guns, like the M1 Grand and M1 Carbine. I'd say are probably like the M1 Grand would probably have to be like my favorite rifle of World War Two, of the World War Two era. You also got other great guns like. The 1903 Springfield. 
the, t the M19, uh, M1927, is it 27 or 28? No, M1928 Thompson, of course the A1 version, not the, not the Tommy gun. The M1919 Browning, that's another good one. Yeah, I just, uh, I just really love what the Americans do. And I think that's one reason why I just really, uh, that's the main reason why I really like the playing as the Americans. And also, it's just, when it comes to the Pacific Theater, I always just liked just the fact that the battle, the battlefield in the Pacific, because, you know, the Americans, they do the technique of island hopping to, to, you know, to take on the Japs, the Japanese, and, you know, you really see how beautiful these Japanese islands are, and I'm very, it makes me envious of them, and I really love, uh, beat the tropical setting.